The career expos give us an opportunity to try to introduce our profession to young men and women who have a desire to become professional firefighters. Most of the candidates spend hours here uh, not only testing the equipment, seeing if they have the physical strength to do the job, while at the same time we have many departments that are here today who they get exposure to the departments that are considering hiring. These departments that have come here use the CPAT, the Labor Management Agreed Upon Physical Ability Test. So if the candidates can do these critical tasks ahead of time as they test for the job, then we know they'll be a successful candidate as a firefighter. I think the good thing about having departments here is they get to see the highly motivated candidates. I worked in the ambulance for a couple years, stepped away, got hired in the hospital, thought I wanted to get into nursing, and I started you know, working towards that and realized that I'd have the biggest regret ever if I didn't try, try what I wanted to do like as a passion for a living. So I work as a personal trainer and I'm also a volunteer EMT. Through some classes I was taking at City College, I was uh, taking a martial arts class there and two of the instructors were retired firefighters and they're like, well, you know, you're really strong and they need women in the department and application process is coming up, so I'm, I'm going to get an application for you. You don't have to fill it out, but I think you should. And I'm getting ready to take the CPAT to apply for a couple of academies which require it, so I kind of went on the website, I pre-registered, just go try it, give it a hand, get some experience, see what I need to work on, so when the time comes to actually take the test in a couple months, that you know, I'm there. The recruitment of women in the fire service is important, especially in the state of California. We have such a diverse population, and women play a critical role in the population of California, but even in the fire service. The commission to recruit women in the fire service is here. They work 12 months a year mentoring, helping young women and girls to enter the profession. So it's critical to the expansion. And those numbers are starting to rise as we speak. I mean, I, I know it is a male-dominated profession, but at the same time, I do see a lot of female firefighters out in service in the community. And that gives me a little bit more hope every time I see a female out on a, on a truck or an engine. I'm looking into doing a fire academy, and I have some concerns about the physical aspect of it. And once I saw that you guys were holding this, there was a, a no-brainer for me to, to come out and see where I'm at, see if I can do it. I just finished the um, ladder extension. I couldn't do that last year. So when I just pulled that thing up, I was like, oh, woo, I did it. You know, it's, it's a great accomplishment. For me, it's a great accomplishment. Just, and I was able to pull the 185 pound dummy. I don't care about anybody else. I did it. So it really kind of put things into perspective of, you know, a woman can do this too. The test, it was humbling to realize that, you know, you think you're in shape or you think you can handle this and uh, it, it's a lot more, it's a lot more work. I know I have a lot of hard work ahead of me, but I'm, I'm prepared to take it, tackle it one little bit at a time. If you want to put the effort in as a female or any candidate, if you want to put the effort in, we'll help you become successful to become a firefighter.